Most of the machines that we get in are custom returns, usually uh, within 30 days, they, have, they use the buyer's remorse policy. So they're usually in very good shape. Oh, well, it's break time, so we figured it's time for a good cup of coffee. My name is Todd Salzman, I'm the operations manager, but really, I'm a coffee guy, I'm a machine guy, and I love the products and I love doing what I'm doing. We like good coffee and we like practicing a little latte art while we're making our coffee. The milk's a little thick on this one, too bad. I lost focus at the last second, unfortunately, but whatever. When it comes in, we take it out of the box, uh, we inspect it for damage. Uh, if everything looks good, we send it over to the refurb line and we test it and descale it if it needs it. All the accessories, they get separated out, brought over to the cleaning stations where we clean each one of those individually. So this is not an open box special. We get the machine, we go through it thoroughly, we make sure it's in like new shape, it, it's working perfectly. It's not something where they just threw in a box, we get it and we go, okay, good, we can resell it. We really take the time to go through this machine inside and out. So we can be assured they're gonna work in like new condition. What I have here is a checklist for the Gaja Classic. It's, uh, we have this for all the machines. And the process we go through, we set the machine up onto the bench. And we first turn on, we start a timer to time how long it takes to heat up. That's our first test. And then we run water through the uh, brew group in the steam one and we check for scale. If there's any scale, we, uh, we'll take the boiler apart at that point and actually clean it out. Uh, we turn the pump on, we check the sound of the overall machine. The solenoid valves, the pumps, you can tell a lot by the sound of a machine, what shape it's in. And at the same time, we're watching the brew group and the steam on as it's heating up to see if there's any dripping or leaks. As the machine heats, it'll get more pressure. If there's a leak, you'll see it right then and there. It gives a good idea. And if there's a problem, then we, we tear the machine down and we fix it at that point. Next thing we do, we do what we call a hot water test. We run hot water through the steam wand, we time how long it takes, and the temperature. From that, we're checking uh, the volume that the pump will put out and the actual temperature of the boiler. Make sure the thermostats are up to snuff on that one. And we check the steam valve, see if that turns freely. Next, we do a brewing system test. Uh, we want just water straight to the brew group. As it is, without a port or filter or anything in it, we check the temperature and how long it takes to get six ounces of water. That's checked to see if we have a free flow through there. Then we put a, uh, a pump pressure gauge right onto the brew group, we check the pump pressure to make sure that's up where we want. And at the same time, we actually check for leaks through the steam wand. Now the system, the hydraulic system is under a lot of pressure. Um, if the steam wand is gonna leak, it'll leak at that point. And then we put the SCASE thermometer on. Uh, SCASE is a very nice device, uh, hooks up digital uh, meter, and we can see what the actual brew temperature is. This is recommended by the SCAA to use. And then we do a steam test. Well here, we hit the steam button, we time how long it takes for the machine to get up to steam temperature based on the temperature indicator lights. And if, it's, if the timing isn't right, we know there's something wrong with the thermostat. At the same time, we're checking for leaks to the brew group because now the hydraulic system is under extreme pressure. Um, and then we check our steam pressure. We open the steam knob and we check to make sure we got a really good pressure coming out of it. And then we'll know the steam pressure is fine. After that, when we're all done, we drain the boilers out and then we, our tech signs off on it, and we've, we know we have a great machine. For the super automatics, it's a very similar process. But in that case, when we set it just listening for the sound of the pump and the solenoid valve, like with the Classic, we'll be listening for the motors that turns the gears, the gears, the brew group, and along with the grinder. And then we also, but then we check the steam pressures and the brew temperatures in a different way, but still, it's a very accurate way we do it. So we go beyond all the technical tests, we do real world tests. The super automatics, we make the espresso, we make sure that it's working perfectly. The grinders are calibrated and the flow is correct. After you've gone through the checklist, uh, the machine gets sent over to the cleaning station. At that point, the machine is wiped down thoroughly and given another inspection uh, for the housing or anything that doesn't look quite right. Those guys are trained to do that. So after the machines are cleaned, they're brought out to our packaging station where they're fitted with some custom packaging and custom boxes to make sure that they arrive in great shape. Well, the bottom line is, when the machine is tested, it's going to work in like new condition. Customer may want to buy one of the, these machines because it'll save them some money. They may be able to upgrade to a higher machine without spending the money for the brand new machine. They've, we've tested them all, they've all come through in great shape, they work perfectly, so it's a great way to get a good machine. And there's no risk because you'll be able to return it within 30 days if for some reason you don't like it, and it's got a six month warranty. So coffee is all we do specialty coffee. We focus on the espresso cappuccino market, the home user. And so we can help you out with any problem that you have with them. We are one of the most experienced companies doing this. We focus on espresso machines. We're not doing appliances. 
this is what we do. You can't call a lot of places and get really good answers. You know, if you have a problem with anything, you can call us and we can walk you through it. We make sure that every machine works like a brand new machine. If it's not at the factory specs, we won't sell it. We have a wide variety of machines available. We have literally hundreds and hundreds of machines completed, ready to go. We'll have all kinds of super automatics and semi-automatics. If you're looking for it, most likely we'll have it. We're very passionate about what we do. Our customers are passionate about their coffee, and so are we. We're just getting our pictures ready. We're just, uh, Johnny's gonna brew the shots. He's, a, he's our best barista, so we'll let Johnny step up to the plate. And I come in and I, I try to pour some latte art as best I can. I like it. You're so picky on yourself. Right oh, not such a good one, but it's going to taste good. That's what we do here. We fix espresso machines, we refurb them, and our passion is coffee, and we get to play with them. So we really enjoy that. 